Coming up, we meet some of the massive residents from Addo Elephant Park, check out dueling zebras in Botswana, and end our Seychelles expedition with a visit to a tiny island teeming with birds. This big bull elephant is on its way across the Addo Elephant Park towards one of the water holes that all the herds gravitate to in this area. He's a beautiful tusker, this male. And Addo is famous for its male elephants with big tusks. He's in must. A little bit of weeping from the gland behind the eye, which means he can be a bit cranky. This is where he's headed. He's going to be joining these breeding herds as they converge on these wallowing and drinking holes. They obviously come here to drink and it's a great socializing area. Now, as this breeding herd approaches, you can see a distinct lack of big tusks on these females. Every now and again you'll see two stubby little white tusks. But it's only the males at Addo that have these huge slabs of ivory. And this little clip goes from the technical to the comical. This little three month old baby elephant ambling along the side of this water hole, crouching under his mother and the slippery mud puts him off balance pretty quickly. This little male is really battling to stay upright. He's only been walking for three months and the mud at this water hole is causing some serious balance problems for him. It never quite gets a handle on mobility here at the water hole. They're really endearing creatures, these little babies. When one looks at the huge adult bulls with the big tusks and then at, at these little guys, it's such a contrast. Another reason why these herds gravitate to these areas is the, the mud and the sand contain minerals and they spend a lot of time actually eating chunks of rock and sand and this substitutes their dietary requirements here at Addo. across this fairly large resident herd of zebra grazing in the late afternoon. As the sun begins to dip towards the horizon they all become beautifully backlit and the whole scene turns golden and bright. Zebra just are such graceful animals and made for really beautiful imagery. The dust kicked up by their movement leaves a, a shimmering gold halo above the earth and it's just one of those really beautiful peaceful African scenes. Just 
Just as the sun sets, however, the piece gets disturbed by several sparring stallions. These zebra stallions will fight ferociously for the protection of their harems and it's quite a vicious encounter to watch. The disputes eventually settled and everything returns to peace and normality once more. morning there were very heavy clouds on the west side of Mahe here in the Seychelles and the rain squalls were getting blown up the coast. Within an hour or two the rain had disappeared, the sun getting higher and we were travelling across a very flat calm sea away from the main island towards a little rock called Il Sesh. It's a very small little bump, probably about the size of two tennis courts, and it's guarded by quite steep granite boulders. This little island is a real little stronghold for some of the seabirds. Joining me on the crags were a couple of knotty terns. Really beautiful, understated colouring on these birds. these birds remain in the same area all year round. They don't migrate like many other seabirds. I think they take the opportunity to alight on these trees to dry the feathers out because they spend a lot of time at sea flying above the water picking off fish. The shape of these birds is quite comical. They're almost banana shaped with a long curved tail and a very long slender bill. Quite distinctive. It was just really nice to spend some time in this environment. It's a real safe house for them, almost like their castle up in the granite peaks of Il Sesh. Catch the next episode as we return to Botswana's renowned Marami Game Reserve. 